What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. This is Odd Talks, and here today, people today, I'm bringing you a Dark Moss uh, deck profile. So, um, what this deck is, is in my opinion, probably one of the better decks in Yu-Gi-Oh! It's an FTK, or Yu-Gi-Oh! Speed Duels. It's an FTK deck based around the card Perfectly Ultimate Great Boss and the Skill Monster Cocoon of Ultra Evolution. So, without further ado, I'm going to get right into the deck profile. If you like this video, remember to leave a like, and if you like me, remember to subscribe. Alright, so starting off, we play the skill card Cocoon of Ultra Evolution. What this card says is you contribute one um, insect monster on either side of the field equipped with an equip card, send it to the graveyard, special summon an insect monster from your deck, ignoring its summoning conditions. Uh, it also says that once per duel, uh, you can shuffle an insect monster from your graveyard into your deck and draw a card. Both of these effects can be used on the same turn, but both effects can also only be used once per duel. Um, so this is like one of the best skills, one of the most generic skills in the game, and the reason why is because of the card Parasite Paranoid, which we'll get into here in a second. But we play two perfectly ultimate Great Moss. Um, you don't want to play three because this card isn't good, and uh, the reason why that we're playing two is because whenever we get the third one, it's like a brick at that point. Um, so I wouldn't play, I recommend any more than that. Um, after that we play three Parasite Paranoid. This card is the, uh, the combo enabler of our deck. It opens up for FTKs, and um, so what it does is that it equips to an opponent's monster, turns it into an insect monster, and then that monster can't attack insect monsters you control, and it can't um, uh, target insect monsters on the field with its card effect. Uh, so it turns it into an insect, which allows it to be tributed off as a cocoon of evolution, and then the, um, after that, it summons out the perfectly ultimate great moss. Per uh, Parasite Paranoid has a second effect, where if it's sent from the field to the graveyard while equipped to a monster, you can special summon a level 7 or higher insect monster from your hand, ignoring its summoning conditions. So you can get up to two uh, of your perfectly ultimate great moss out in the same turn by doing that combo. And then you have an FTK on the field. That's crazy. Uh, so the variant we're playing is Dark Moss, so we play Dark Monsters on our deck. Uh, so we play three, Break of the Magical Warrior. Uh, that way we can pop our opponent's back row. And then we play three Apprentice Magician for the Apprentice Package, along with two Old Vandictive Magician. To finish off our Dark Monster list, we also play two Sphere Karibo. So Breakers are in here, that way we can destroy the Spell and Trap cards like Zoma, because Zoma is a big card that outs his deck. Uh, Apprentice Magician also is here, that way whenever uh, we get problematic monsters on the field after we Parasite, say, uh, X in the XYZ matchup, this card becomes very viable. Um, outside of the fact that they have the, what is it, YZ card. And um, a, Old Vandicta Magician is what we float into after the Apprentice Magician, and then the Sphere of Karibo, because we don't play too many battle traps in this deck. We actually, I think, only play three spell cards in total in this deck. The other two cards, the last two cards in our monster lineup is a card called Santa Claus. So what this card is, is a mini Lava Golem. You tribute one monster your opponent controls, and then uh, summon it to their side of the field. And uh, what it does is, whenever your opponent sets a card on the field, you just tribute the set card, summon this, equip the Parasite, and then full combo. Um, the only downside about this card is that during the end phase, if this card is still remaining on your opponent's side of the field, uh, they get to draw a card, and then they also get to draw during the draw phase. So that's the real downside to it, uh, but the biggest reason is just to get a face-up monster on the field to tribute off your opponent. Um, that way you're not attacking your Moss into the Apprentice Magician and then having them have the old Vindictive out your Moss. Uh, our spell lineup, like I said before, is only three cards. We play two Allure of Darkness. We want to get to our Parasites as much as possible. This card here is the reason why we're playing Dark Moss. Um, that way we can be as consistent with the deck as possibly needed. Apprentice Magicians float out cards in the deck. We can get our Parasites very fast that way. We want our hand drop as fast as possible. And our one of is a Night Beam. And uh, this card is very, very good in my opinion. Uh, we only play one because we play a triple breaker, but being able to just night beam a set spell or trap card, in my opinion, is just like super good in any FTK deck. Um, outside of that, though, I have my side deck here. Our side deck for this deck, uh, we play 1x Jinzo. Uh, this is for the Twisted Personality matchup. Also, it's just a really good card that if you notice your opponents are playing like triple Zoma in their deck, just multiple copies of Zoma or uh, trap monsters. Um, so just having this card around is really good. The other cards we play are Cosmic Cyclones. I actually have this in this deck for the Mirror Match. If you Cosmic Cyclone, Parasite Paranoid, after it equips to a monster, they can't Cocoon of Ultra Evolution. So, uh, they, because it banishes the target, and then the, monster, the Parasite in hand can't activate because it's banished instead of sent to the graveyard. And then uh, for our last three cards, it's uh, two Lost Win uh, for the XYZ matchup, and then one D Fusion for the XYZ matchup. Because I feel like this is like our worst matchup. Uh, is playing against XYZ, so I just wanted to have enough outs for it. 
But outside of that, that's uh, pretty much the deck list. I hope you all uh, enjoyed the video, enjoyed the deck, and uh, as always, stay awesome, guys. Bye-bye.